Hey everyone and welcome back to UE5 PP Guru. Um, I've done it again where I've recorded something and uh, it didn't go as planned and so now I'm going to have to just show you what I did. It's not quite the way I wanted to do it but here we go. I'll just have to show you what I've done. So last episode for the multiplayer replication we looked at um, doing sprinting with our character. Walking and sprinting. Um, Today I'm going to just add a new little section which is just crouching. Um, I would like to eventually add in prone as well, but for now let's just get the crouch working. Um, first things first, um, I've I've added in the usual crouching um, animations that I use for most of my uh, non-weapon uh, movements. So this is not using a gun or anything like that. Um, I've added that in, I've deleted out the other character model and I've uh, come into here to retarget everything to Skellington. A bit like one of the episodes we did previously where I retargeted everything. Uh, just to make sure it looks correct uh, when we're walking around. Um, the other thing I've done is in our... Um, if I go into my locomotion, I've got rid of the idle. I've put in just a walk and run, and I've added in a crouching state machine. A lot of people in 5.1 was having issues with the um, Quinn not still moving when idle. That's because I worked it out why it was doing that. If you go into the MM walk run, and you change it so that it has the idle here, for example, and the walk and the run for whatever reason and I can't figure it out where it's doing it when you're using Quinn it's not taking that information it's taking it from MF unarmed walk run so even if you change your MM walk run which is in the locomotion it's here there's no nothing to do with MF but whatever reason, Quinn, somehow Quinn is taking it from the MF unarmed walk run. So you need to make sure you do it in both. And I don't know where it's calling it from, so I can't even just take it out and put the MM walk run in either. It's just not doing it for some reason. So you have to open this one up and you have to change the idle in here for Quinn to work correctly. As well as MM or Manny. So I've changed, so although MM's in here and it's using that ground speed, you have to go into the MF uh, and in blend space and do that in there as well to get it working. And then you can get rid of your idle and plug it straight into your walk run and both should work uh, without any issues. I've also created an is crouching boolean and I've plugged that into here as the is crouching and is not crouching going back into the walk run. And in crouching, again, I've got a one-dimensional blend space for crouching. I'm using the ground speed to drive the animations. And I've got just an idle and a walk in there as well. So we can do that all the same. Um, and everything else is pretty much standard stuff, really, at this point. Um, and once that's all set up, you should, be, you should have a situation where you have a... Um, a walk run and a crouching setup in your uh, Manny B uh, and in BP. The only other thing I did on here then is I went to the event graph and I've added in a cast to a third person character. Got the crouching boolean I've set up in the third person character here as well. I've set up a crouching there. And I'm, I've just plugged that into our uh, is crouching uh, that is set up for uh, Manny. Now, normally we would get the player controller or whatever, or the player character, um, and use that to drive our object for the cast. But because we're doing multiplayer, we need to try get pawn owner instead. Because we don't want it to affect everything all at once, we just want it to affect the player that is using that crouch button. You'll see the effect in a moment. It took me a while to work out why I wasn't getting why everyone was crouching at the same time instead of just the one I wanted to use. 
but that's the reason why it was because I wasn't doing that in the anime I was affecting everybody all at once instead of just getting the porn owner so once you've done all that setup that's the main normal kind of setup we would normally do um, but now we need to create a new input action mapping for crouching we need to add that to our IMC uh, so that it all kind of works all in one go from the uh, the mapping context and then I've created the enhanced input action now because crouching is done um, um, only once we don't hold the button down you, you could set up to hold the button down a bit like we did with the sprinting but you would just come off the triggered instead and you wouldn't use a flip-flop you would just have when it's triggered crouching is true and when it's completed crouching is false um, now I've got it set twice here I'm going to try and break it down so it's only done once but for now uh, it is set up like this uh, and I'm just using a basic flip-flop method off the completed setting our crouching to true uh, or false depending on which time we're hitting it and we're just setting our max walk speed to 150 or 250 respectively we're then pulling off and going into our crouch on server again crouching true crouching false um, and then we're setting I am setting my crouching for all three because I was doing this during the testing at this point this works so I'm not going to mess around with it too much if I do update it I'll update it in the next video uh, and show you what I've changed but for now um, the crouching is just uh, it's run on here and it's run in here so whatever we have this set to it's set the same on our boolean for the actual server crouch on server that's put in here we set it here uh, crouch on server is then called and that crouch goes into there and we set it again in here just so it's set on all three but I'm pretty sure if I removed everything from here and I, I could run it just in here alone uh, and then just have the booleans on here instead um, and then as I say we're just um, all we're doing is uh, setting our max walk speed again so it matches what's on our actual enhanced input and the result is uh, by pressing play we um, we will spawn in our two characters and if I crouch with the one it runs on the client and on the server and we can walk around um, individually and again if I click on the client and I hit the crouch button it works on the server as well and if I was to increase the clients, it, you'd, you can imagine it would just do exactly the same thing for all of those characters so that everybody can crouch as and as and how they want. Why is my camera messing with that? Um, and they can walk and run now. The other thing you need to do as well, just thinking about it, is you need to click on your crouching boolean, come down to replication and make sure it is set to replicated so that this boolean will replicate across the server and the client and you should end up with the same result so yeah just don't forget to replicate that boolean and with those two done that is crouching and sprinting setup for our character um, um, please obviously leave a little like leave a little comment of anything you want me to add to this um, it's going to be quite ambitious but hopefully as we go on we can um, continue on growing and making it a little bit more complicated and see the result we we can get um i'm going to do highlighted items uh, we'll do inventories on this as well um we want to do uh hunger and thirst and eating and drinking things and and all sorts of different things down the line so yeah leave me a little comment what you want me to add it can be anything small or big it doesn't matter just let me know what you want me to add to this um, and hopefully we can get a little something going but thanks so much guys for watching don't forget to like comment and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button it's free to do and you can always change your mind online thank you so much guys take care bye bye